walk down the lane with a happy refrain and singing, just singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain, what a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds so dark up above. The sun's in my heart and I'm ready for love. Let the storm. How'd you like the movie? Back. Bex, hey. <laughs> Come on, we gotta go, the movie's over. Shh, I can't hear you, I'm asleep. <laughs> All right, come on, no. come on. Wha no, what? no, what? I just wanna stay here with you. All right, five more minutes. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Oh, uh, what what flavor did you get? Chocolate. Oh, wow, you know I haven't heard of that one. It's, it's very original. Haha, <laughs> very funny. What? It's chocolate ice cream, like uh, the most basic ice cream you the, could get. It's the best. There's what? a reason it's most popular. <laughs> what? Hey, are you okay if we just drive around for a bit? Yeah, that should be fine. I just have to make sure I get you home before midnight. You're fine. My mom loves you. Yeah, she does. Hey, yeah. <laughs> what? She does. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> Have a seat. Oh. What's up, the drink? Yeah, water would be great. All right. So, how's it going? You know, it's actually been really, really great. So, tell me how you're feeling about college. You know, I'm not even really that nervous. It's like, I'm not going to know what it's going to be like until I get there. So why stress about it now? Yeah. You know, but Beck, <laughs> she's amazing. I mean, she, no, she really is. Like, she's smart. Uh, she's funny. Uh, she makes me laugh so much. Sounds like you've met somebody really special. I'm so happy for you. You deserve this. You know, I, I was even thinking about um, introducing her to my parents soon. That's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, looks like our time's about done for today. So just to wrap up, remember. Thanks, Doc. See you in two weeks. All right, see you then. Oh, Wally. Yeah. Remember, 
Life's a series. Series of choices over time. You got it. Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Good. I'm getting ready. Oh, good. Um, hey, should I wear the um, the orange shirt or the gray one tonight? Either one. They both look great. Okay, cool. Um, oh, and I made the reservation for seven because I thought that would give us. Can you hear me? Wally, are you there? Wally, Wally, what happened? Hello? Wally? Hey. Hey. What's up? Nothing much. I waited inside for kind of a while. I thought you might have come to the door. Oh, oh, I'm I'm sorry. I should have I should have come to get you. So, you ready? Um, yeah, I was, um, I actually just called the restaurant and they said that they uh, lost our reservation. Really? Yeah. Did they make us a new one? Uh, no, no, they were, they were all booked. Oh, that's okay, we can just find a new place. Um, actually, you know, I was wondering if maybe we could just go back to the park and have a picnic again? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that sounds really fun. You're sure? Totally. Okay. Okay. Hey, do you think we could try something different next weekend? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, like what? There's this new art exhibit I thought we could try. Yeah, yeah, totally. Sounds good. Great. How's it been with Beck? Uh, it's been good. Yeah, no, it's it's really been great lately. Okay, what about your parents? It's what awful, Doc. About Beck. Yeah. I've been having this feeling lately. Uh, it's like I, I just, I lose control and, and I don't know what to do. Because I don't like losing control. And it just, it just feels really bad. And I really don't know what to do about it, Doc. Cause I don't want to be that way around her, and hey, I just don't know what to do. Slow down. Breathe with me. Remember. Breathe. Now talk to me. When did this first start? Um, uh, it was It was like um, two weeks ago. Like, it was right after we had our mm -hmm. last session. Um, I just mentioned this reservation, and all of a sudden I lost control. Like, like I just wasn't able to do anything and, and I, I couldn't move, I, I couldn't breathe. I, I had to hang up, I, I don't know. I mean, and then we just ended up going on a picnic afterwards, doing the same thing we always do. That's really rough. Yeah. Well, what's happened since then with her? Uh, we've just been going on the same day over and over again. And 
I, I just, it's not fair to her. Like, I can't keep doing this. And I just don't know how to break out of this cycle. But I know that if I go on that same date, I'll be okay because it's safe. And that feeling won't come back. That's no so fun. No. No, it's not. Doc, she wants to go to this art exhibit this weekend, and I, I don't think I can do it. Like, it's really hard because I want, I want to do everything for her. You know, I love her so much, and I want to take care of her. But how am I supposed to take care of her when I can't even take care of myself? She just deserves so much better hey. than me. Hey. Just because you're going through all this, doesn't make you less of a man. The Wally I know is not these panic attacks. And let me ask you, if I was with you when you had these panic attacks, what would I say? Um, you would tell me to remember to breathe and that uh, it's not as big as you're making it and that I was going to get through it. And would that help? It would make me feel a lot better. <laughs> remember that. Thanks, Doc. That's what you pay me for. <laughs> I mean, what you need to do is you need to go through this weekend, go on the date, do the best you can to be present in the moment. But, Doc, what do I do if I get there and I, and I can't push this? This too shall pass. What? This too shall pass. Whenever you're anxious, whenever you're going through it, remember the breathing we talked about and remember those words, this too shall pass. Do you think you can do that? No, no, I really don't. I get it. But remember this, you're not in charge of the feelings that you have, but you are in control of what you do about how you feel. You can do this. I'll do my best. Oh, oh, Doc, I'm sorry, we're, we're way over time. I, I, I probably should just get going. Yeah, it looks like we are. Wally, I'm here for you. Thanks, Doc. Anytime. Oh, oh it's Mark. Life's a series of choices over time. Doc, 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 please, please, I need help. Molly. Please, Doc. Okay, doc, I'm please, coming down. Please, help. Oh. 
What is it? It's okay, it's okay. Just breathe, come on, follow me. Okay. You doing okay? Yeah. Hey, Mom. Yeah. What do I do about Wally? I know something's wrong, but I don't know what to do about it. Is this about the never-ending date? Yeah, and we were supposed to go to this art exhibit tonight, and he's already late. I see. Beck, you're a good girl, and he's a good guy. You work well together, but you can't keep letting him hurt you like this. I really love him, but I can't keep doing this. If you feel this way, you need to tell him. Even if it hurts you or both of you. Thanks, Mom. Anytime. Here you go, Molly. Get some water. Drink it. It'll help. Thank you. Thank you for not kicking me out. Oh, you know I wouldn't do that, but just not make a habit out of it, you know what I mean? So, tell me what happened. I just couldn't push through, Doc. I tried. I really did. I did our exercises. I, I did everything that we tried, but I just couldn't do it. I got to her house, I saw the door, and I, I just ran. I get it. It's okay. You can beat this. I mean, you've been through a lot already. You got what it takes. You can do this. You know, it's like. Every time that I go and I try to do something new that I'm not used to, it's like I just I shut down. And you know, Doc, sometimes I question if it's even real. I just don't know. Back when I was in grad school, I had a professor that taught a course in flight therapy, you know, counseling with children. And I was 22 and I thought I knew everything. And she came into a lecture one day and the first thing she said was, when was the last time you did anything for the first time? I was 22 years old. I thought I knew everything. I just kind of looked at her. And she said, children's lives are that way every day. And for you to be able to go out and live life the way it's supposed to be lived, with new experiences, with new adventures, with the people you love, that's what it's meant to be. That's what God wants us to do, to go see the beauty of the world and of life with the people that mean the most to us. And what you're going through right now, it's hard. It's not easy. Probably the first thing you want to do is get your truck, go home, get in your room and stay there. But I have a feeling you haven't done anything new for a long time, especially with that. And it's scary. I have a feeling if you go out, into this world, you take a chance. You carry the things that we've talked about with you. You might get out of that comfort zone. You might actually enjoy yourself. You might actually do this. You can do this. Got a date? Yes, we do. Wally, wait. Yeah? This is my wife, Lucy. I thought you might need these. Thank you, Miss Lucy. Hey, Wally. I mean, if this really can't happen again, this is super unethical. I could get into a lot of trouble for this. Hey, I'll schedule an appointment next time. I promise. Okay. Beck, Beck, please, please listen. Look, I, I am so sorry. 
I, I never meant for it to get like this. Just put, if you'll just lift. Back. You know how much I care about you, but I can't keep doing this. I, I feel like I don't even know what's going on with you anymore. <laughs> Maybe now just isn't a great time I, I, for us. Please, don't. I mean, I feel like, like we always go on the exact same date, and when I finally try to do something different, you show up way late, and I wait for, like, forever, and, and then I start to worry, and then I just... Wally? Hey. Hey, hey. Are you okay? Just, just... Just give me a second. Wally, hey, what can I do? Just start talking about something. Okay, uh, I wish tonight had gone different. Okay, maybe something different than that. Okay. When I was eight or nine, I had a really really bad day at school and I think I failed a test or somebody was mean to me or something anyway my mom could tell that I had had a rough day so she threw me in the car and took me to get ice cream we drove around for what felt like hours it was the best day I loved it because because it made me know that no matter what bad things happen, there's always something to look forward to. There's always something better after. Because everything does and will pass. So, obviously, I got older and I forgot about that night and how much it meant to me. Until I met you. And then, and then it was like, like every time I was with you, nothing bad could happen. No matter what was happening, when we were together, we could do anything. It was like, like eating ice cream every day. But Wally, I want to do new things, you too. And I, I, I Thank you. It's not to pry or anything, but it's just... Yeah, this, me? this is... Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? I don't know. I, I guess I felt like I couldn't. Or you would see me as weak, or... I don't know. Like, I just didn't want to ruin what we had. And it's like I ended up doing that anyway, but I just... I just didn't want to not be enough for Molly. you. You are enough. We're here together. That's enough. Thank you. Right. Got your flowers. Uh, well, I wish that we could make that art exhibit, but it's probably too late now. Hey, come on. I've got an idea. What? Come on. <laughs> what do you mean? You're driving. You're what? driving. I'll tell you where you go. Come on. Okay.